I spawn on my teammates in A. They are moving for an A hold. I see my teammates back in B and no one covering the C gate. That's up to me. Shooting through the smoke I focus on the left side because my mate is covering the right. There's two enemies pushing and I kill one of them. I forget to check the scoreboard to see if Brunwo is getting revived. I should always help my team. I move slow and let my mate take his time through the smoke. Uncle gets a kill in banana and it's not Brunwo. Maybe he didn't get revived. We are losing the flag and I move in. The only position the enemy can cap from is behind the wall in connector. On the map I see the enemy looking at connector. He might push. One more. I try to hold the timing and pre-fire him. Brunwa was hiding outside banana and comes out to kill uncle. If I had checked the scoreboard, uncle would have survived. I get a random spawn behind A and both of the players inside A are spotted. We also see a third enemy moving towards banana. Before I shoot the first enemy I need to get close so I can take down both of them. Otherwise the second enemy will be ready for me. After killing them, I keep my eyes towards the beepers. Meanwhile I'm listening for footsteps, expecting the enemy from Banana to come pushing from my left. I need to stop the push from beepers and to get a revive on my mate. My teammate starts moving to kitchen, so I position myself in the left corner to get a position cross-firing a potential push from beepers. From here my teammates should have trust in me and the crossfire. When Luxus dies I see two players on the minimap. They don't know of me yet and they haven't heard me. So I'm taking it slow to find an opportunity. I kill one of them and back into the cells to heal. The B flag starts ticking, which means the second enemy jumped down to the flag. My teammate uncle is coming from Seagate to help me out at B. I see he's watching my left side towards B, so I'm focused on covering his side. I continue moving according to uncle while covering his exposed angles. Pushing beepers, I hear someone coming sidestairs, so I take cover before fighting. We kill them at B and they will spawn behind A. Uncle spawns on me to help out at A. And because I'm closer to kitchen than him, I will move there as fast as possible to avoid getting spotted. I time my peek with the info I get from the map. I take my time to reload and surprise him when he gets close. I'm on my body, on my body. Yes, he's still there. Thank you. I wait for my mates before peeking the enemy from two sides. I hear two guys behind the wall, and they could be watching one side each. To lower the risk of losing the fight, I will delay my peek and throw him off beat and trick the timing. Behind paper. I hear the parachute and I jump to cover. We are moving together and I avoid getting in my friend's line of sight. I take my time to not get pre-fired. You need to push from beepers, no one is holding his back. Nice. My teammates over at A are not in position to attack together, so I wait. I had to leave because people died. I'm on the burn. Shower, shower. On my body, on my body, on my body. Uh, go, go, go help the team. I shouldn't push until everyone's in position. The right flank gets ahead of us. They get the enemy cornered, so I take the opportunity. Obviously, one more. One shower, one C. My teammate is waiting behind me, so I give him my life. Two more, two more, one more. Dead, last C. Mid pillar. 
fucking ice cream already. I go. They two ramp. Uh, we have three guys in C and they are all turned away, so I take the shot. One dead, one running away, and the third coming up the escalator. I will give him a surprise. Surprise. I got it. I got it.